I thrifted 200 items in just three days. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sochi. I'm the Thrifted Mama here on YouTube and Instagram. This is going to be the first installment of my giveaway. This is going to be quite a long video, so buckle up, get comfy, get a snack, get a drink, and let's get started. I did grab a whole lot of bread and butter shoes, so this is just Dolce Vita, some snakeskin booties, size seven and a half, and this is like the regular line of Dolce Vita so it's not DV and yeah these should do decently well booties are definitely a style I like to pick up during this time of year this is a new brand that I'm going to be trying out this is Cole Haan so definitely not a crazy brand that like no one comes across I just really haven't dabbled into this brand I really like the detailing on this booty and it's a size 8 and they're in excellent condition like almost looks like it's never actually been worn just a little bit of heel drag, but excellent condition otherwise. Very much bread and butter. These are Steve Madden. Braided top, really cute, chunky heel. And yeah, these are very much like a trendy shoe. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. But yeah, I thought that these were in good enough condition to pick up the bottoms, you know, a little bit of wear and there's like a tiny scuff. When you wear them, it won't be too noticeable. I really enjoy picking up Toms, especially the wedge style, but these are a little different. I don't know if I've sold this style specifically before, but it's just a classic peep toe chunky heel. I guess technically it would be kind of like a booty if, gosh, I don't know, but... <laughs> Uh, the detail is really pretty and they are in almost like new condition as well. Size 9, so definitely a preferable size to pick up and with a little tassel detail. So this was really cool to find. And these ones were all from the bins. Some items are going to be from retail stores and I will say if that's the case, but for the most part a lot of this stuff is from the bins. I did spend quite a bit of time at the bins. These are some Madden Girl chunky, are these technically Mary Janes are kind of like Doc Martin dupes. I believe Madden Girl is like a diffusion line of Steve Madden so they're not worth a whole lot but I figured that these were trendy enough that they would probably move quite quickly. These are called the Phoenix. They are a size 9. They are in great condition and yeah wanted to see how those would do. Next item are these on clouds. These were super fun to find. They have a little bit of wear of course but not a whole lot and there's definitely a whole lot of life left originally i found one someone else had the other shoe I, I just gave it to her out of courtesy and then she was like these are too big do you want them and i was like yes so it was insta karma i was being nice and just giving her the shoe it ended up coming back to me so i'm excited about that next pair of shoes are actually a bolo brand they are called greats Brooklyn. I'm not sure if it's catching that. It's kind of hard to see with, with the position, but that is what it looks like on the shoe. These are very similar to, it looks like, like Rothy's almost with the fabric upper. Someone grabbed these and then put them back and when I saw them I looked them up because they are in excellent condition. But yeah these retail for a whole lot and will probably resell just around the $50 range so I'm really excited about that. These two pairs of shoes are from the Swamp Meet. The first pair are these Salkany shoes. I'm not even sure how to pronounce the name but that is what it looks like. And then that is the logo. And these are just running shoes. These are in excellent condition and my cost was just around bins prices. Actually cheaper than bins prices, around $2 for these. And then I've never sold this brand. This is Superga. I don't know, that sounds wrong. These are some platform snake print sneakers. They seem to do decent, like 20, 25. I did pay $2 ish for these two. So definitely worth it for that flip. All right, so let's hop into clothing. Some of the stuff's going to be swap meet. Some of it's going to be bins. I will let you know. I found six pairs of mother from the swap meet for like $2 each. So that was insane. They're all size 24 and 25s. So that is a little disappointing, but definitely was not going to leave them behind. So we have these darker pair no distressing. These are the mid-rise dazzler ankle step fray. These are nice and all of these will probably sell between 60 to 70 dollars minimum. We have this medium wash one with again um what is it called frayed hem size 24. This is the high-waisted looker ankle fray. 
This is the logo for those who have not come across Mother. And then you'll notice there are M's on the back pocket. These are really soft jeans. I can almost tell now that they're Mother because they're just so dang soft. Another color. So they have a whole bunch of different colors. There is always going to be like a different color. They're not all the same. These are the Runaway Step Fray in a size 25. This one is more of like a slight flare. This is the Pixie Ankle Fray, size 24. We have a button front or exposed buttons and then more of a skinnier slim leg. This one's a little interesting. This is the Stunner Zip Ankle Step Fray, size 24. And again, pretty solid with a exposed hem. This little detail is the step fray. I believe the term step fray comes from the cut of the hem. So yeah, these are some solid jeans. And then we have yet another. This one is Mother the Looker Crop in a size 25. So these are not distressed at all, which is good. I like when we get classic jeans, even though they are smaller size and kind of skinnier. These will definitely do very well. I'm getting myself a little confused whether I got the item from the bins or the swap meet, but just to get this out there, like the price that I pay per item is just around $1.50 to $2.50. So we'll just go from that. <laughs> this is a pair of men's lemon shorts, a very classic pair of shorts. Yeah, love finding these. This was a very fun Zara piece size small and just really really cute i love this style of sweater vests and the detailing is really nice this i definitely found at the swap meet this is reformation reformation jeans and shorts don't do the best but i could not pass these up these are in good condition there's a little bit of puckering no i don't think so it's just the the folding of the him but yeah that was a good find here is a pair of new with tags eileen fisher these are some i think they're called crepe pants or yeah they are wide leg and a olive green color these will do amazing let's see if there is a retail price so they were on sale for $99 but the msrp is $228 which is not so. Here is a pair of Madewell wide leg pants, new with tags, size double XL, and they're kind of like a cargo style in a way. Also, olive green. These are slightly lighter, and yeah, these are really cool. These are some really nice pants, and I'm sure that will do really well, especially being plus size. We have some Spanx new with tags. These were originally sold at anthropology for $98 these are definitely one of the styles from Spanx that I love grabbing these are just classic everyone loves them so that was awesome I found two Zara pants same style just different colors I believe this is the newest label I think it's the font I don't know if it's the full color and I could be wrong if anyone could correct me I know I come across a lot of white labels that look exactly like this but I don't know if like the black makes it the new label let me know but this is just a nice pair of trousers they have some pleating on the front and back and yeah I really like this style I have sold black ones a few times recently and then I also found them in a dusty rose pink mauve color these are really pretty same size so probably from the same person I have some older lululemon the logo is in decent condition still like sometimes when you find older lululemon that stuff will fade off but these are just some classic shorts. Probably won't go for a whole lot, but I'm guessing just around $20. This is a style from Levi's that I have not tried before. This is the 94 baggy. They're in a size 30, so I believe that that is about a 10. Hopefully with the size not being like a 24 or 25 that I have a good chance on seeing how this style does. There is no distressing or anything like that, so they're just like a classic black pant. Which everyone needs in their closet. We have some rails. This is a chambray or denim dress. This is really cute. I don't 
how a lot experienced selling rails. I have picked it up maybe three times. So those were all recent pieces though. So I have not sold those yet, but I wanted to try this out. Here is a Ann Taylor piece. This is a smaller size being a extra small petite, but is a sweater dress. Really pretty. It could just be kind of like a long cardigan as well. This is a wool blend. So the fabric quality is there. This is such a nice stable piece. Here is that other tag that I was kind of talking about. This is Zara as well. This is just so boho. I know Caleb's like, oh my gosh. We got the boho tracker going on, but the embroidery on this thing is just phenomenal for being Zara. The detailing, this piece just looks like really well thought out. And I don't know, I just really like it. This could very much be giving free people. So, really like that. And I didn't even realize the tassels even have like a bunch of little beads. So yeah. Here is a pair of Gymshark. These are just the classic seamless leggings with some ombre. If you can't find the size on Gymshark, look at the ankle with the logo. Flip it and there it is. <laughs> so these are a large. It took me a very long time to figure that out, but yeah. These will do decent, especially being a large. This is a pair of Athleta. It's going to be really hard for you guys to see, but there is no size, and this is an extra small. So this is like a nice floral paisley print. Just a nice pair of leggings. I don't expect these to sell super quickly, but I did sell a pair of funky leggings today for like $40 on Poshmark. So that was a little surprising, but that's not usually what happens. These are an older label, Abercrombie & Fitch, extra small trousers, paper bag pants almost, and just a solid black. I feel like these are decent work wear pants. Dress them up and down. I have a pair of Nike. These are from 2021 which is a classic heathered purple pair of leggings. I've been enjoying picking up Nike. I kind of used to like never pick it up because I had bad experience with certain pieces that I did pick up, but it's been selling decent for me. Another pair of Athleta. These are the Ultimate Stash Textured 7 8 Tight, extra small. I've sold this style a lot of times has pockets, just a nice speckled print all over. These are very classic. These will do pretty well even being an extra small. Speaking of Nike, this is a sports bra color block. I love that it's like neutral colors, so it could be worn with a bunch of different colors. This is a size medium from 2020. And yeah, just a classic Razorback sports bra. Is there two pads? There's definitely one pad but I believe there is two in there. So it's just like a uniboob at this point. Next piece is Likely. I do have a few of these listed and I wish I found this when the Barbie core craze was going on, but this is really pretty, a hot pink bodycon dress. It is a size zero, I believe. Yeah, so not the best, but I do have a lot or a few in smaller sizes. So hopefully they'll be bundled. Probably not, but I wanted to grab that. This was from her like dollar table. So definitely did not want to leave that behind. These two items were from a thrift trip that I just kind of popped in to see what was there while I was going through stores. So this first item is a pair of Lululemon Track That shorts in navy blue. These are in excellent condition. And then this item is a 5'11 tactical hoodie. I've never seen hoodies from this brand. I like picking up the pants and shorts, but have not seen this before. And this item is really soft and I'm sure it will sell for about $25 to $28. These next few items are from a garage sale. So I have an all yours tank from Lululemon. These are really classic and I really like them personally. This is an older label of Abercrombie. These are the mom jeans in size 26. It's like a paper bag style though, so wanted to see how this would do. And the frayed hem added a little bit more of a flare with some pleated detailing as well. This is Lucky Brand Extra Large. I almost always want to just pick up extra large Lucky Brand. Sometimes I pick up smaller sizes, but this is just a really cozy ribbed sweater. And yeah, it's really soft, really cute, and 
Hopefully this sells quickly, being that it's sweater time. <laughs> we have a Lululemon Flow Y tank or power tank. I can't remember. There's so many dang names. But this is the little logo. It's a classic white. Still has the padding. This was super exciting to find and I got it for a reasonable price. I also grabbed this one shoulder free people little tank top crop. It's not a sports bra, but it's like a little crop top. Liked that. And then she had this North Face size small, just a basic classic t-shirt. That was really cute. Also this Nike sports bra. I like picking up Nike right now. The goal is to grab as many pieces. So that was definitely worth grabbing. This is a Petal and Pup crop top. This is one of those smaller brands that you want to keep a lookout for. The comps can be pretty good depending on the piece. This is a pair of men's Lululemon shorts, I believe. These actually might be women's. I gotta double check, but I think these are men's. We have the logo right there. I love how subtle it is. But yeah, these will do decently well, just around 30 to 35. I believe that was it for the broad sale. And then back to the swap meet. This is Tool, which I believe was sold at Anthropology. It is new with tags. And it's just this buttoned dress, mini dress with this like, I don't know, abstract print. Nothing too crazy. Next thing is this little ruffled Zara piece. This has to be a newer, I mean, sorry, an older tag because this looks a little old. But this is new with tags, priced at $39.90. And yeah. It says I'm invited. Where am I invited to? This is from, yeah, summer 19, so a little bit older, but I feel like it's still very much, like, classic and nothing too dated. Here is a pair of offline leggings. They have a little bit of a mesh paneling along the leg. This is, like, a leopard print, and yeah, these are super soft. These are the Real Me 7 8 high-rise legging and the retail is $50, but I believe that these are always somewhat on sale, so I'm hoping that this will go for like 28 or so. This is a really exciting brand to come across. This is Ramey Brook. These are some tie-dye jeans. The comps look decent, um, but I know that this is definitely like an older piece, but tie-dye is definitely one of those trends that go in and out, so. We shall see how that goes, but I was not going to leave that behind. A couple more Swap Me pieces. This is a Swiftly Tech from Lululemon. So I did buy this from a friend. Unfortunately, there was a flaw that I did not realize, but I still believe that it will sell. So it's not a problem. This is a size 10, and since it's on the back, like someone could still wear a jacket and like no one would even know. This color is really pretty. I believe that could be Sonic Pink, but I'm not too sure. This is an older pair of Wonder Unders, I believe. Just a classic black crop legging. Next item are these Zaya jogger pants. These are a size large. They're an olive green jogger. I've sold this style a few times. I do like grabbing substantial pieces from Zara. The tank tops and t-shirts don't do that great, but definitely the joggers sweatpants, track pants, that sort of stuff. One of my favorite jean brands, Judy Blue. These are, I can't tell exactly what the style is, but I'm definitely going to be able to tell with the style number. I think this might be the boyfriend jean. Yeah, this, it looks like it's kind of saying the boyfriend jean. But these are just some classic, slightly distressed jean, and these always sell so great. So definitely don't pass up Judy Blue, especially if your cost of goods are like less than $10. I would even pay up $10 for those kinds of jeans because they just sell so fast. Little coffee break. This is uh, interesting. <laughs> this is a signature coat by Miss Hardwood, made in USA wool coat. And I looked it up because it was substantial. And since I found it at the bins, it was only going to be $1.50, so I was like, let's see. And the comps looked really, really good on eBay. Did I check Poshmark? I'm not quite sure. But the comps were amazing. Definitely look up that brand. Um, I believe the comps were just around $60 to $100-ish, so I'm excited to see what that brings. 
I have been dabbling in grabbing John Galt and Brandy Melville, but I feel like this is a pretty, you know, kind of trendier, oversized sweatshirt. It's a one size, but you know how Brandy goes. And yeah, this was in excellent condition, so I figured it would at least go for 18 to 20. I found a Bowden skirt. This is a midi skirt. No, this is like a knee length skirt pencil skirt, floral, really, really nice. It's definitely a skirt that you could wear at work or like an event. So yeah, that was really exciting to find. A pair of Abercrombie. This is the newest label, so definitely look up this one. This is the Mom Short High Rise 25 inch. We have some Maeve by Anthropology. This is just a ribbed shirt, a scoop neckline with a puff sleeve, Swiss dot mesh detailing. And yeah, this is really, really interesting top. It's like a mustard yellow and it's an extra large. So all the factors there made me want to pick that up. This is a brand that I personally love. I have their little tapestries around my house and this is Natural Life. This is a jumpsuit, like lounge pajama onesie situation this is very boho very hippie girl so cute and very very soft so i'm glad to found that i have found that brand at savers and i did pay up a little bit for that piece and it did sell pretty quickly so definitely keep that brand in mind this is a polo ralph lauren fleece vest and yeah i don't expect a whole lot from these but i did look comps for the size and they looked like they were doing pretty well so we will see. I'm still dabbling in two men's brands, so that is definitely an experimental piece for me. This is a J. Crew factory size extra large. New with tags, little tank top, peplum situation with like some stripe detailing. And yeah, I think this is a really nice closet basic with it being extra large was definitely more enticing to pick up a little girl's columbia fleece this is an extra small size six and yeah in excellent condition i love picking up outerwear for children we have some j crew i'm not really sure why they changed this up like i didn't realize that this was j crew until i saw like the font but this is a demi boot cut jean size 32p and yeah, these are in excellent condition. I believe that these are from like 2022. Yeah, 2022. Very recent, very solid pair with the exposed buttons and all of that. So these should do pretty well. This is an Everlane t-shirt dress. This is very much like a closet basic. Everyone needs a nice t-shirt dress. So this was exciting to find. I know that Everlane's retail is pretty high. The resale is not always there, but at the bins, it's definitely worth it. This is an experimental piece. I almost never pick up H&M, but this is a really long blazer coat, size 38R. So this is a men's wool coat. And I figured if I'm going to try anything from H&M, it should be a substantial piece like this. So hopefully it doesn't sit for too long, but I'm excited to see how this does. Depending on how that item does, it will let me know if I need to start picking up H&M or if I need to avoid it like a plague, you know? These are a little bit of a local brand. This is called Of One C and I have come across it one other time and it was new with tags and it sold the day of. So I wanted to grab these. They have the little shakas, so that was cool. This is a size 3-4. The new and tag one sold for probably $20 to $25, so I'm guessing this will be a little less than that, but for a kid pair of swim shorts, I'm not going to complain. This is 100% Marina Wool Banana Republic. I believe this is an older label, so nothing crazy, but since it was Marina Wool, I wanted to give it a shot, and it looks a little little shrunk but it's very stretchy uh the ribbed material definitely has an impact on that so we'll see how that one does here is a classic pair of dry fit size small black shorts again with the quantity wanted to grab these because i know that these are a decent seller and they almost always sell. Here is Aviva, which if you're not familiar, this is Kids Lululemon. It's a discontinued line, so it's really 
not a brand you can get anywhere but secondhand. So people do like to grab these. And yeah, this is just a classic tank top. It is a size 14, so I believe that equates to a two in women. So next item, cabbie. This is a tan light brown cardigan. It's very slouchy. It isn't extra small, but it's definitely an oversized fit. And this was cool to find. Certain cabbie pieces do go for a decent amount of money. So definitely keep that in mind. This is vintage North Face made in USA. Someone at the bins gave this to me. So I was a little skeptical, but it's in decent condition. Like it's obviously aged, but yeah, we'll see how this does. Because it's vintage, I don't know if it adds a little bit to it, but the comps are fine enough for me to pick up and experiment a little bit, so that was a cool find. I did do a little bit of regular thrifting earlier today before I went to the bin, so I will show you that. My cost of goods are definitely higher. I did not have coupons for Salvation Army, but since I am trying to do quantity, I was a little bit more flexible on how much I was paying for these pieces. My thrift store prices are expensive, as you will see. So just a reminder, like I kind of equal it out by the amount of stuff I get from the bins. So that is just my little spiel. So I'm going to start off with Salvation Army. This is Savannah Jane. This brand is decent. They make a lot of like embroidered boho pieces. I love this. If this was a l extra large, I probably would have kept it just because when I wear larges, I, the bust area just never does it for me. <laughs> But this is just like a cheetah print with embroidery all over the neckline and on the bottom of the dress as well. Super cute. This was $8.99. So definitely not what I would want to pay, but I do believe that this will sell for a decent price. I have some Polo Ralph Lauren linen button down shirt. I can't, I'm not sure if this is women's or men's. It was not labeled, and so, uh, yeah, it wasn't even buttoned. So, yeah, I just found this. We'll see how this does. Since it's linen, I wanted to grab it. I believe that was 7 or $8 as well. Here's another piece of Natural Life. This is a really boho <laughs> midi. No, sorry, this is a mini dress. So, the detailing, really pretty. I love the print. And yeah, it's just a nice little mini dress, size small, I believe. Yes. It's kind of similar to Free People, but also more like Cottage Cory. I found these men's Patagonia pants. I do have to throw these in the wash, I believe, because they do have a little bit of something going on. A little bit of dust. Uh, probably can just rub that off. These were $8.99. Again, not my favorite price to pay, but these will definitely sell for around that $50 mark. So well worth it in my books. And last but not least from Salvation Army, when I grabbed this piece, I just knew. Like, you're joking. This is none other but Johnny freaking was okay the person cut off the tag but thankfully left the size it just has this like feather heart detailing embroidery and then on the back is a bird when i looked the first thing i looked at was the interior tag and i knew this was johnny was because it's very low key when i looked up the rn number it pulled up as johnny was so yeah this was very exciting and it was only $6.99. So this is the cheapest item and probably definitely the highest retail item. This is the military thrift store. This is the Air Force thrift store. Do I love it? Not always. Prices are a little bit crazy over there, but so is Savers. So I can't really complain. But yeah, these are some Abercrombie jeans, newer label. These were $6, so not bad. Size 28. These are the super skinny ankle high rise jeans and there's a little bit of distressing on the hem but other than that not much. There's some on the pocket and right here. So yeah these are just a classic jean. I really like picking up the newer label of Abercrombie so that was great. And then another pair these were seven dollars. This is the Abercrombie and Fitch the 90s skinny high rise. So there is the logo. The wash is a little different. Definitely lighter, more of like a acid wash. We have some 
distressing at the hem and yeah just a classic Abercrombie jean this is a Ralph Lauren size large classic fit flannel this was six dollars and yeah wanted to experiment with this piece I found a new with tags pair of figs for this is an REI short sleeve top athletic wear and it's very much like a sweat wicking material it's a size extra large so I wanted to try this out I think I do need to throw this in a wash there is a little bit of dust again but yeah this should do 25 or so that was like a base price um item so it was probably three or four dollars as well at this thrift store there's a lot of like base price stuff and then there's stuff that they individually price up so sometimes you can get lucky this is zara size medium this is a midi dress floral and tiered I wanted to grab this just because midi dresses from Zara have been doing really good for me. So I would guess around $28 for that. And then the best fine was marked up to $10, but I'm totally okay with paying that. This is Lululemon. These are the speed up leggings and I've sold these multiple times for around $40 to $50. So definitely was down to pay that. And yeah, that was everything from the Air Force thrift store. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys my finds from Savers. Keep in mind that I had a 20% off coupon. Today is Monday, so I had the Super Savers Club coupon. So my cost of goods was right around, I would say a little less than $10, which is very high. Don't, I'm like, don't come for me. Um, but yeah, so we'll get into that. First item are some Good American jeans. These are the Good Legs in size 4. They have some distressing on the pockets, the back pockets. And yeah, these are just some classic skinny jeans. I don't think these are slim. I think these are just straight up skinny jeans. But Good American does well for me even in smaller sizes. These are a Spanx legging size large. These are just like classic jeggings like this is what we would call jeggings they look like jeans but they feel like leggings so yeah those are some classic little jeggings and i know that someone will be able to wear those to work and not have to wear jeans here is some aloe yoga size small i have not found this brand in a hot minute i was finding a lot you know the past few months but it kind of stopped i do have to throw these in a wash i just realized that after you know being in the light there's a couple marks, but these are super soft. I do not know what the style is called, but it's similar to a lines where it has that like booty contouring. Those will do decently well. This item brought my cost of goods a little, a little down, but this is called Oak and Fort. And hopefully this sells for about $25. This is just a nice ribbed boxy sweater. The sleeves are a little cropped, but yeah, this is really soft. This is an amazing brand to keep a lookout for. This is Standard James Purse. This is a size 2. They use their own sizing, so they use vanity sizing. That's what it's called. This is probably a large, nice little cardigan, thick knit, really substantial piece. I'm really excited to see how this does. And yeah, they had it marked at $10.99, so that was definitely worth trying. Another pair of Abercrombie. This is the ankle straight ultra high rise 1030 short. So I probably will throw these in the wash too. I, there's a little spot on the pocket, but other than that, they're in pretty good condition and they just have the like distressed hem. No other distressing. And yeah, these ones are really popular. Here is a Patagonia piece. These are some cargo jogger sweatpants. I probably have to throw these in the wash too. Gosh, some things I'm just going to have to throw in the wash. But yeah, these are in great condition. Otherwise, they just need a little clean. This is organic cotton, size extra small. And yeah, these will do well. These kind of like pants are just really popular. Next item are these Athleta Brooklyn 
ankle pant. I keep messing that up. Size too petite. These are a pretty popular pant. Just a nice pair of pants that you can dress up or dress down. They have a little split hem detailing and yeah, these are pretty popular. I have sold these a few times in the past. I found a bunch of Lululemon and a bunch, I mean like four pairs, which to me that's a bunch. They do mark them up pretty, pretty high, but with my average cost of goods, I figured it's fine. These are a size six. These could be the base paste, but I'm not quite sure. They look like they're the poolside color. They are very bright, bright blue, but yeah. These were in excellent condition. I know for a fact that these are called the tight stuff tight because I have owned these in the past. This was probably my first pair of Lululemon leggings actually. I had a black, no I had a purple pair. So yeah, these are, these are a great find. This is my favorite pair of Lululemon leggings to find. This is the fast and free. I believe these are the crops, but the crops still do really well. This is a size six and it's in like an eggplant purple. And yeah, for those who don't know, if you cannot find the exact color or style, you gotta use the size dot. You start with W and with S on Lulu Fanatics and everything will pop up. Stock photos, color names, the full style name, everything. So it's very helpful. This is a pair of Dan Studio pants. These are from 2022 so I think these are like the straight leg ones these are very recent and yeah size 8 excellent condition they had these at $15.99 so yeah but these are definitely well over $100 retail I believe so well worth it in my opinion and I did find three pairs of shoes and they're all pretty exciting honestly so the first pair are these ultras I have sold this style multiple times they're pretty good for like wide box shoes and I just got to clean them up a little bit. Other than that, like the body of the shoe are fine. The white part is always going to get dirty. These were only marked at $11.50, which for savers, that's pretty good. Whenever I find shoes $11 or under, I tend to look at them a little closer because like anything Nike is like $29 to $35, which is like... Sometimes it's just not worth even looking up. Next find are these Nobles. And I have sold this exact style before. So I was really excited to see these. And yeah, there's a little bit of wear. But definitely still a whole bunch of life left. These were marked at $11.50 as well. And I found a classic pair of Rothy's. I was really excited to see these. I was actually on FaceTime with my bestie Kenya. So if you're watching, hey... But yeah, I found these and also another tip, if you come across Rothy's, make sure they say made in China and not made in the US because those ones will be fake. All right, so now on to today's bins finds. I did pop in around, I would say one o'clock or so. I believe I stayed until four-ish and I accumulated just around 50 items just from the bin. So that kind of tells me that I need to spend a little bit more time at the bin so I can get my 100-ish items a day. I haven't been quite getting 100, I've been getting around 80 or so, but yeah, majority of it has been from the bins. First item is this pair of Zara jeans. These are very long. Serious measurements because these are very long. I believe that these are like wide leg pants. They're they're very, very long. Uh, size 10. And yeah, so those are nice to find. And then I found the same style but in black. Same style jeans. Very much a wide leg very dark black jeans very very tall inseam so like this is well over 30 i feel like so i think these are actually the most popular style of zara jeans they definitely have a better silter rate this is disney queen no gosh next item is this disney kingdom of hearts or kingdom hearts size 2xl short tolls. I wasn't sure if, if these were like worth picking up but when I looked on Poshmark they seem to do pretty well so we'll see how these do. They have like embroidery all over with like little logos. Here is a Lucky Brand 
very boho top with the bell sleeves and this is just like a dusty rose mauve color really pretty another cabbie piece this is giving funky office wear <laughs> i don't know i just really liked it uh the the neckline is yeah definitely an older style but I think the print and the funkiness will sell it. I found a Lululemon Swiftly Tech tank top. This is like a blue gray colorway. And yeah, in excellent condition. Unfortunately, the size is gone. But yeah, I'm not sure. Like I know usually it's on the hem, like in the inside hem. But I, I really, it's not there. So I don't know. Part of me is like, well then is it fake? But like... It definitely does not look fake like I have I own this fabric I own this fabric and like just no but I really don't think it's fake I just I don't know let me know what you guys think I don't know next item is this really cute Victoria's Secret lingerie piece this is a size extra small and it's like this whole it's like this romper situation so we have the romper part and then it has some cutouts. So cut out on the belly. And then when you turn around, it's a cutout on the back. This is really, really cute. And I figured someone would like that. I don't know if you could. This is definitely lingerie. Like, I don't think you would be able to pull that off, you know, as a regular romper. I don't know. Maybe you could. This is Ann Taylor. This is the newest label. This piece is from... 2022 the floral print is really really pretty i love the pink and the purple it's just oh this colorway is just really really pretty so i was glad to find that i feel like i also have not come across torrid at the bins in a hot minute this is torrid size zero so this is a large and this is just a ivory off white i guess no i feel like this is definitely close to white cable knit thick knit sweater i don't think this is cable knit i think this is just a thick knit sweater with a bow detailing on the back with torrid pieces you can tell how old it is by looking at the inside tag and this is from 2021 but it's in excellent condition so it honestly does not look like it's ever been worn and i've realized that this is cable knit <laughs> it has some heart detailing going down so yeah really really cute this is a Victoria's Secret bra. Really, really pretty lace detailing all around. This is a 38 double D, which is a size that I do not come across often. So it was in good enough condition for me to pick up. I was a little nervous to pick this up. I don't know if this is going to do very well, but this is Old Navy, new with tag, extra large, full on <laughs> puffer, big, big, big coat with a fur line hood it doesn't say the retail but yeah it being an, a new tag really substantial coat i wanted to try it out especially because my bins are just flat rate dollar 50 so i didn't have to pay extra for such a big coat so this is kind of a experimental piece as well polo by ralph lauren this is a very much barbie pink polo and it's a men's size large in great condition there's no flaws so We'll see how this does. I'm hoping, you know, just around $20 for it to be worth it. Here is actually a random item that I decided to experiment with. This is Art Deco or Art Deco Hawaii book. And it's in excellent condition. Like, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of like scuffing or, you know, signs of wear. There's like a little bit right here, but it's very minimal. And when I looked it up on eBay, there was one pretty expensive, but one sold for like $45 pretty recently. So I wanted to see how this would do. And the pages are just in excellent condition. So this is definitely not a realm that I'm usually in, but I didn't want to leave this behind. This is a really like pretty book, honestly. Now I'm going to bring the big chungus bag because I have a whole natural life big bag filled with clothes from today. This is going to be the last bag so we're almost at the finish line. I have a men's Levi size medium flannel. This is a gap size medium rib midi dress. I really liked the neckline in this piece. Very neutral with being like a taupe color 
and with it being midi is more substantial of course and yeah I think that this is like giving skims <laughs> so we'll see how that goes this is a Mark New York Andrew Mark I think this might be a diffusion line <clears throat> but this is a size large puffer jacket again I like picking up almost all the outerwear that I come across since it's pretty limited and yeah this was in excellent condition so I didn't want to leave that behind this is a new brand to me I think it's called matrix by Mark Johnson flannel size large made in India and comps look decent on eBay this is definitely an eBay item to me so probably you know around that 25 to 35 mark I can't remember exactly but I know that it was good enough for me to pick up Ann Taylor small petite sheath dress mm, this could be a midi dress it's definitely a longer length dress and it has a tie detail it's a really pretty blue color it's like a muted blue color it's not too bright it might be showing up a little brighter on camera just notice a little spot back here but really it's not that noticeable and yeah I really like picking up office wear for sure this is a a Kemi and Kin by Anthropology piece very boho neutral with all the lace detailing and this can go with a whole bunch of things it's very much athleisure also just like cozy loungewear really cute it's definitely like a sweatshirt with a little added flair again with some nike this is a crop with the logo across the waist size medium this is in great condition so i wanted to try that out this piece is zella and if you're not familiar this is a nordstrom athletic wear brand i don't love picking up zella but because this was more of a substantial piece being a jumpsuit i wanted to try it out it was giving sweaty betty honestly so that's what i thought it was going to be but you know just a classic full jumpsuit athletic wear jumpsuits tend to do pretty well since they are substantial this was definitely more green in the bins but i can't really tell with this light and taylor size medium this is a very thick sweater dress it has some button detailing down here and it's very heavy honestly it is 50 percent viscose 40 something percent nylon and it's from 2019 so not too old not too recent but i feel like this is definitely a good staple piece especially if you need something warm for the winter and you live in colder areas I found Daily Practice. I have never found this brand before. This is an anthropology brand. This is a ribbed midi skirt and it has like a round hem and the back has this little cross detailing. It's really cute honestly and it goes with the whole loungewear comfy dress kind of look. I pick up almost everything Lauren Ralph Lauren size 12 extra large. 14 and up this is a skirt is it the most trendy thing i don't know <laughs> i'm not very trendy uh but i think that this could do well at least decent you know 25 to 28 but i really liked the cut and the floralness of it so we'll see here is a Madewell piece. This piece is from 2022 holiday season. So less than a year old. This is like a corduroy top and it has some really pretty buttons on the back. I feel like I could have sold this piece before. Not quite sure, but that is definitely one of my bread and butters. I found Patagonia. It's so exciting when I find these like really good brands at the bins because it means I didn't have to pay up for them. <laughs> This is just a classic. Uh, it doesn't have the style name, but usually these are kind of similar to like Capeline. And the big logo in the back always is great. Size small. I believe that could be men's. I found some Lululemon Dance Studio pants. These are again like an eggplant purple. The logo is right on the leg. Sometimes it's like right here. Sometimes it's on the leg. I can't keep up. But this is the style with the pockets on the back probably a little older yeah this is definitely an older piece because it doesn't have the uh size dot i found some men's fiori it's been a minute since i've found fiori 
This does need a wash or it could literally just be stained and it looks more like it's stained. I feel like there's definitely still some money to be made. This brand is definitely well sought after and most guys don't really care. They want a good classic workout pant or this is more like a lounge pant. This could actually be swim. It feels like swimwear honestly but we'll see how this does. This is a medium. I have not sold men's Viore before so that will be definitely an experimental piece for me but definitely keep a lookout for that label. Another pair of Lululemon. Oh I just I love it. When I find Lululemon at the bins and I always find at least one piece. That's usually the label for men's when it has the little triangles around. And this is like a dark camo print size large I believe. This is a new to me brand. It is called Cross Eyed Moose. I've never found this before and well first when I grabbed it I thought that this was more like a Lululemon piece. It definitely feels substantial and I wanted to look it up like the detailing. You know cheaper brands don't usually put all of the branding. But yeah I wanted to look it up. It seems like a new and upcoming brand so I don't have a lot to go off of but I believe that this will sell probably between 45 to 50 dollars which is kind of crazy it's a size men's large it's a men's brand when i look at the website it says that they're combining streetwear and utility wear so that's basically what this is so i will update you for sure how that does these two pieces were really exciting to find this is veronica beard i've only found it like twice before these are some pleated shorts, linen blend. Linen does show wear quite easy with wash wear, but I feel like since it is linen, it's not really that noticeable. Linen tends to have that kind of stuff going on, so I still believe that this will sell for a decent price. And then I found Veronica Beard jeans. I don't know if this is more of a diffusion line, but this is a midi or maxi dress. So we have a ribbed tank top and then the skirt and this is pretty long so I think this is the maxi dress with a belt size large has a button closure on the side and yeah I'm excited to see how this does I did not look up comps I was like there's no way that there are there's no stains with this piece you know being so white but yeah this is in excellent condition this is a new brand to me. It is called 12th Tribe. And the comps are kind of all over the place, honestly, but I wanted to try it since it is more of that trendier style with being like a cross waist, straight leg, jean. They're pretty substantial. The comps again are just all over the place, so I can't really give you a number, but I'm hoping they go for at least $20. This is a swimwear brand that I like to come across. This is Meiji or Maji. It's a size small, and this is like a beach cover-up dress. I've sold the bikinis before from this brand, but it is very loud print, very beachy, boho, colorful, hippie, all those words. So yeah, I really like the style of this one. This piece was pretty crazy. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have saw when I found this. So I grabbed it because it had this like big label, but when I looked over it, I was like, you know, okay. It does have some coffee stains around so like it looks like coffee was dripped all over it. I think that that will definitely come out with like OxyClean. But when I looked on this patch, I read Cynthia Rowley for Gagosion. I don't even know what it's called. Then it says this fall 2010 garment has been handcrafted to the highest standards as one of the limited edition of five out of a hundred made ex expressly for and then it doesn't say anything. Uh yeah and this was like definitely handwritten. So I ran to Google to kind of do a little bit of research on this piece and it retailed for $500. So I, of course, you know, I'm going to try to get the stains out. We'll see. Even then, I feel like I could sell this piece even if I couldn't get the stains out. This was definitely a piece I could not leave behind just because it is so limited edition. I found a picture of this item on a mannequin. So I, I don't even know. Like, have you guys found a limited edition piece like this before? I don't even know where to start with like pricing and all that. We'll see if I can get the stains out. That's the first step, but that was a super exciting find. I found another pair of Gymshark. The size is cut out, but I'm guessing this is around 
a small maybe a medium but probably a small just a classic you know light purple color this is a new brand to me but when i looked it up the comps were pretty great this is called saturday's new york city i need to button it so that is on me but this is a button down short sleeve striped top i don't know exactly how much it will sell for but the comps looked pretty high for a short sleeve button down again experimenting with men's brands i don't know a whole lot but when i see the numbers high i'm like okay just just put it in the cart we'll figure it out later i think my friend put this back this is a lululemon jacket the logo is a little dated for sure this is not i mean this could be a line jacket but it has some mesh paneling it needs a little bit of a sweater shave and definitely a wash because it has like this little crusty bit up here i can't figure out the size either but it looks like a two honestly but yeah that will be decent around $30 since it is older. This is a, another new brand to me. This is Megan Los Angeles. I couldn't find this exact piece, but it definitely was giving, you know, Johnny was embroidery. The embroidery is pretty thick, very boho, all of the coastally. It's very like gauzy, 100% cotton. So very lightweight and really pretty. I love the blue color. San Lorenzo little bottoms. These are so expensive. These were $65, just the bottom. So hopefully that goes for around $25. I'd be happy with that, honestly. I like picking up these classic little jackets for toddlers. People like them. They're a good little staple jacket. So that should do well. Surprisingly, this sold really quickly when I got these for me personally. I just never wore them. So I was like, you know, I'm just gonna list them. These are from 2021, Pink Active. I only have experience selling extra large. So I would only buy those personally, but these are just some tie-dye seamless biker shorts. Another Pink Active piece, or I guess ultimate piece. Size large, these are some joggers classic black jogger not a lot going on does have the logo right there hopefully these go for around 18 to 20 and then these my dear friend gave to me she was like they have a lot of peeling but if you have a sweater shaver you can have them i was like absolutely this is actually my size so if i like the color with the lines you have to make sure that they are flattering because sometimes like the lighter colors are not flattering but if this color looks good, I will be keeping these because I don't come across too many aligns in my size and I live in these things. So I'm really excited about that. We have some J. Jill. This is a tank top with some embroidery, very boho. Love the orange color with the contrasting hot pink and yeah this is really soft was excited to find that and then this is even more exciting this is disney parks 3x christmas sweater you're like you're joking i need to get this up asap like this will be up soon so let me turn it on <laughs> that's so cool i was so excited when i found this hopefully it sells quickly and because it's like official disney park that's really exciting I know that this is a pretty good brand. I don't think I've sold it before, but I have seen other people talk about it. So this is Roan, size 34. This is very similar to like ABC pants, bird dogs, those like chino pants that are really good quality. These will do really well. I know that they're good. I just don't know what the price for these will be. So can't tell you right now, but I was really excited to find those. This is L Space, size extra small. These are really nice, like linen, wide leg pants, very much giving vacation and, you know, drapey, breezy, all those words. Coastal, beachy, if I didn't say that already. Those will hopefully go, you know, during the summer. This is a Burton flannel, size large. This is a men's and this should do well around 25 or so. I'm not too familiar with this brand, honestly. So when I looked them up, they were kind of all over the place on eBay. So I try to get more of a specific price on Poshmark. My friend was kind enough to give me this. This is Savage X Fenty, little bralette, just a classic 
black lace bralette. This is Chico size 2. This is the newer label because it has the size. So they use vanity sizing. So this is size 2, but this is a US large. I thought this piece was really, really pretty. It's a burgundy purplish color. More purple than red for sure. This is like a mixed media top. The sleeves are gauzy with embroidery. Oh, so pretty. I love this thing. Really, really pretty. Definitely looks way more recent than a lot of Chico's pieces that I come across. And this was a store pull, which is kind of crazy to me. Surprisingly, our Goodwills are not that expensive. They don't price up different brands, so that would have been $6.99. One of the ladies that are usuals threw this back. This is C. New York size 2. I can't I've only found this one other time but I'm just shocked that this was thrown back like genuinely and I was like maybe it's flawed but it's it's not even under the bright light I don't see anything but yeah this is a really pretty ruffle top and C of New York sells for a lot of money retail and resale. I have sold it one other time. I found it at the bins. It was a skirt that had been cut shorter so technically it was flawed and it still sold for a decent amount very quickly. So definitely don't even pass up on flawed items unless it's like crazy flawed like you know what I mean. This is Fabletics. I'm experimenting with men's pieces. This is an extra small short and yeah these are very similar to a Lululemon style, someone who wants a Lululemon look without the price tag. Alrighty, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a big old haul. I will be doing one every single week. Next week's video might be a little longer just cause this was three days versus probably like five or so. I will probably be picking my favorites and then you know, some bread and butter, new brands, all that stuff. Don't forget to check out my giveaway video. It'll explain a little bit more of what I'm doing this month. Comment down below what your guys' favorite item was. Please give this video a like and subscribe to see more from me and I'll see you guys later. Bye!